Hi everybody, it's Psychic Medium Carla coming to you on a Monday. And today I'm coming to you with my little unicorn outfit. I love unicorns and I think I've worn this a couple times. Helps me feel better, gives me a little bit more energy and it's just fun to wear. And who doesn't love unicorns? Oh, there's Simba. Um, today I want to talk about comas because uh, I do get asked this question and a lot of people are interested in knowing on what is going on when somebody's in a coma. So I am going to touch on that subject today and here we go. So when somebody's in a coma, they are in between. What does that mean? Clearly, they are not dead. They're not passed away. Um, they're alive, but most of the time, the soul is not inside the body when somebody's in a coma. I, it, I compare it to when a woman is pregnant. There's a baby in there. But people think that because the baby's in there, that the soul's in there, inside the baby. That's not true. The soul will come in and out to check on things. How's everything going? Okay, everything's going okay. Yeah. Do you think that somebody would want to be crammed in a little spot like that for nine months? Simba, don't you eat those offerings? I already have a picture on Instagram where he had took a bite and I didn't see it because I usually don't see it, but he likes to lick the stuff that I leave on my, um, on my altars as long as he doesn't eat it all. Anyways, I'm getting off the subject. Um, so yeah, when somebody's pregnant, that kid, that child's soul is not in the baby. The entire time no it comes in it checks on things it goes out goes back to the other side waiting learning doing whatever it is that you know hanging out with their guides or family members or whatever um until the very last moment i'll do a video about that another time but i mean basically you're getting the gist of it when somebody's in a coma they're not inside their body the entire time they're not a lot of times they're outside the body but they are tethered to the body by the silver cord. Most people are going to know what the silver cord is. For those of you who do not know what the silver cord is, the silver cord is the cord that connects our souls to the physical body. Once that sword, that sword, that cord is severed, then you're gone. You're dead. You've passed away. As we get older and older and older, that silver cord gets a little thinner and a little thinner and a little thinner. When people pass away of old age, that um, cord has grown so thin that it just kind of whips, wisps away. Um, again, we'll talk about the silver cord more in another video. I always get distracted. But you see how all these things are all connected to one another. Um, so when you're in a coma... Your body's there, whether it's a medically induced coma or it's a coma because you, you know, were in an accident or whatever the circumstances that landed the person in a coma. The soul is not inside the body all the time. People ask me, are people aware of what's going on when they're in a coma? And the ask, answer is absolutely yes, they are aware. They are aware. They can tell you stories of who was in the room, who was wearing what clothing, what time it was, what you guys were discussing. Um, so many things that they can tell you because they are aware and then they remember. A lot of people aren't going to remember once they get back into, this phys into the physical body. More than likely, they'll remember some things, but it just depends on the individual. Some people will remember absolutely everything and they will tell you everything. And then the family member or the friends, depending on what 
they believe in and you know things like that will either freak out or they'll understand like yeah yeah i know um so are people in comas aware absolutely they're aware and they are connected to the physical body with the silver cord and they're kind of in an in-between state um you can call it the astral plane you can call it whatever you want to can they can they go do things beyond the astral plane yes they can will they have encounters with family members friends um, spirit guides um, other souls sure absolutely they can come back and tell you stories that um, they were with their grandmother, their grandfather, their dad, their sister, their husband, what, you know, whatever, whoever they have over there. They are aware. So it's important if you are visiting somebody, a family member or a friend who's in a coma, that when you're talking, I think it's best to talk to them like they're, like they're there, like they're listening because they are. Talk to them like you would talk to your dog or your cat or I don't know why I use that as an example but I talk to my dog like he's you know I talk to him like a person and a lot of people talk to their pets like that and they understand for the most part um, but I would talk to them like you would talk to them any other day have a conversation maybe they're not answering you back or they are but you can't hear them but they're going to hear what's going on. They're going to know. So you should treat them the same. You know, encourage them to get better if you want them to get better. Um, this might be an exit point for them. If it's an exit point, then they might have the choice of staying, going to the other side, or coming back. Connecting to the body you know, permanently to wake up. A lot of times there are stories of people saying, yeah, you know, I had the choice of to come to come back or, or to stay and, and proceed forward. And I know my family is such a wreck. It's such a mess that I was like, you know what? I need to go back because there's no way they're going to survive this place without me. So they go back. If it's your last exit point and you are meant to pass, then there's um, there's not going to be anybody asking you anything. They're going to say, you know what? This is your at last exit point, whatever, and this is how you will depart. But the point of the, the video is to let you know that people that are in comas are aware of what's going on. They are aware. So talk to them. Um... Let them know you're there. Tell them what's going on in your life or whatever. They're aware of what's going on. They're just not spending a lot of time in their body. And if they do, when and if they do wake up, more than likely they're going to have some kind of story to tell you. Does everybody remember everything? Again, no, they don't. But... they're going to remember something and they can get pretty detailed. So anyways, so that was uh, today's video, people in comas. If anybody has any questions, you know what to do. Remember to like and subscribe and share. Everything's going pretty good here. My mom's getting a lot of therapy and I'm trying to work in between all the doctor's appointments and all the therapists and everything. It's, you know, it is what it is, but she's doing, she's doing well with her therapies. So that's a good thing. So next time I might be talking about walk-ins next time. You guys have a good week and I'll see you possibly Friday. I'm going to do my best. Have a good day. Say bye, Simma. Ciao.